modified can't interval. can't take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? Tell me. That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... kidnapped! Oh, Ricky! I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? Attention! This is your principal. Looks like we've got some troublemakers in detention. You kids know what to do. <laughs> out of school, find our boyfriends, and beat the life out of whoever took them. Good plan. Thanks. I just came up with it. Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako. <laughs> And Ricky. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text. Oh, yeah! It says, uh, blocked caller. That's a weird name. 
damn it. Of course, it would be blocked. Well, you know it. Come on. Look, it's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako. Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm teaching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls. Haven't seen them, but we'll, like, so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. Nice. Yeah, but they're crazy. Oh? They think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. Gonna be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! Today, we're going to learn about unity. Puberty? I don't know what that is. That's because you're ignorant, Tilly. Unity stands for punching until bricks explode right towards you. Wow. Now, do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Golly gee, is that? A bobo! Glad to meet you, Timmy! You're so huge! All oh, thanks to puberty! With enough effort, you can get as big as me! You gonna try? I guess so. <laughs> You'll have to punch harder than that, Timmy! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, puberty. Downstairs. We'll exit through the front. Great plan. I just hope Miss Susie's not here today. Oh, jeez, what if she is? You're gonna let a 300-pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No.
by destroying those girls.
Of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh oh. Out of our way, Miss Suzu. Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha <laughs> ha! You scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly. No way. Flies are easy to hurt. As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years. Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu. I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of this school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed. Get over here! are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. Don't make us bite you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much.
so nice to get out of that crappy school. For sure. Wanna go see a movie? We're looking for our boyfriends, remember? Oh yeah, we should ask if they wanna go too. Let's go find that creepy guy. <laughs> Is that supposed to mean something to us? We've been neighbors since third grade. Oh yeah, hey Masako, it's that creepy guy who lives down the street from you. Oh yeah. Didn't you get kicked out of your school for taking secret photos of the girls' volleyball team? Who, me? <laughs> uh, anyway, nice weather, right? You, you catch that recent sports game? What do you want, Godai? I've been watching you two. See? Ew. And I think I can help. You're looking for Ricky and Kunio, right? Well, I keep tabs on everyone. You know who took my Ricky poo? Not yet, but I will soon. In the meantime, you help me, and I'll help you. What do you want? For starters, I'm pretty hungry. Go get me a double Merv burger. Stop being lazy. Yeah, it's just down the street. Exactly. Bring me a double Merv burger, and you will be handsomely rewarded, ladies. Because I'm so handsome, <laughs> get it? <sighs> <laughs>
there. Buy something. What you need? Uh huh. Good choice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Drop by any time. Let me know if you want anything. Sure, I guess. Okay. I look fabulous. Let me know if you want anything. Fine. That's all you're going to buy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
burger. Ah, broiled beef of the gods. <laughs> I'm never eating fast food again. We got your dumb burger. Now what do you know about Kunio and Ricky? Boy, that hit the spot. Okay, you mentioned they were talking to someone creepy looking. No, we didn't, actually. How did you? Well, you know, word gets around. Anyway, my guess is they were talking to Yamada. Who's that? A kid from Reiho High School. Or he used to be, anyway. Before he started practicing the dark arts. That's not a thing. It's totally a thing. Yamada usually hangs out at the mall. Go see if he's there. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Masako. Good luck. And keep an eye out for your old pal, Godai. Maybe we can help each other out again. I'll be around. Seth, you ready to break a leg? Devastating! Get in my dojo and fight me! I miss my brother! Go beat up the world, dude. Can I get you? Coming right up. Drop by anytime. <gasps> That might not be necessary. Yeah, but it's fun. Your name's Hiroshi, right? You remembered me. I took your lunch money once. Yeah. <laughs> Water under the bridge. 
Anyway, the mall is supposed to be open, but that security guard, Pattinson, must be asleep at home again. How do we get inside? Just hang out here for a while. He'll eventually wake up and come to work. What? No, we need to get in there now. We have reasons, important ones. Hey, me too. The latest issue of Cosmic Mega Babes just got released. And if you think I'm gonna download the digital manga version, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. I don't know what any of that means. Where's this guard live? North Ravine Lane. But I wouldn't recommend waking him. I, uh, I tried that once. Thanks, Hiroshi. We'll be right back.
Get out of my house! 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 Get out of my house!
Let's get back to the mall. Nice job! And now open these doors so we can start shopping. Squee! No. But... Yoko. Just a few stores. Remember, Ricky? <sighs> okay, let's go find that spooky Amada guy. Ha! <laughs> 
Ugh, customers. <laughs> Fine. Ugh, customers. That thing? That's no. all you can afford? No!
grocery. Did you get your Space Girls comic book thingy? Uh, Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be? He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally anytime. My life is pretty boring. Welcome to Edwina's. Have a look around. Please, enter. We have only the finest goods. Nom, nom, nom. Of course. Hum, hum. Come on. 
construction site? It's so yucky. Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy! He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. If rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky pill? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax, I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were... a long time ago. What's happening? Oh, it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But, as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name was Kunio, and he seemed nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Kunio and I became best friends. We read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Kunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. And so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Kunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge on Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later, middle school. Okay, we get it. Jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be... Okay, wait up. Love of your life? You barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Kunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew.
ladies, welcome. I lost the love of my life. Don't try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, because it's spooky. Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try Uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. 
And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy. Bro, Seth, you ready to break a leg? Deadly! <laughs> Happy rampaging! Come back soon!
this is uptown, huh? Seems pretty fancy. Inexpensive. And judgy. We don't belong here, do we? No, we do not. <laughs> again. I got another mission for you. This time it's that pompous mayor of ours, always acting like he runs River City. Psh. You seen that hideous golden statue they built of him? Well, I want it gone. Destroy it and I'll reward you. in uptown i live here you're rich no but my parents are have you seen kunio and ricky around here nope why they ditch you guys again again no they got kidnapped for real that's pretty metal no it's pretty sad and it makes my heart hurt oh ricky kyoko show her your text oh yeah hmm you should go talk to habari who uh, the fashion designer? Jeez, don't you guys know anything? I shop at discount. I found the shirt at a bus stop. The thug in this photo, the one shoving your boyfriends into the van, he's wearing one of Hibari's custom jackets. Ooh, nice detectiving. Everyone who's cool wears Hibari. No offense. None taken. Hibari's warehouse is at the east end of Uptown. Show her this photo. She might know who took your boyfriends. Oh, <laughs> 
that fashion lady and ask her about the dude in the photo. Masako? Yeah? Do you think we're badly dressed? Heck no. We look amazing. I guess so. Find out. Hey! If any of you ladies know a Habari? They're not answering. Maybe they're busy. Well, they don't have to be rude. Let's come back later. <laughs>
Dork alert. Oh, it's you guys again. What's up, Hasabe? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Looking stylish as hell. You two know this fashion lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. I usually am. Hibari is the fashion icon in River City. She's making us custom outfits. Well, where is she? Yeah. We got questions. Oh, let me guess. How do socks work? <laughs> What's a bra? <laughs> I know what a bra is. Uh, you need an offering for Hibari to show up, Misako. Jeez, everyone knows that. Except them, apparently. An offering? Something fancy. Expensive. And gold. Can it just be colored gold? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kyoko. Let's go find an offering. We need something gold to make that weirdo fashion designer show up. But we're so poor. Let's try the pawn shop in the toy district. Maybe we can trade him something. Like a knuckle sandwich. How you're talking. Shop? Looks pretty empty. We have to head downstairs. It's in the basement. Uh, can we take the elevator? Yeah. What? No, wait. It's broken. I'm not used to walking this much.
shining and keep fighting. How many floors have we gone down? Six? Twelve? Three. I wonder why everyone in our town is so violent? Nope. I mean, everyone's always punching and kicking each other. Like, everywhere we go, all day long. I guess so. What's your point? Nothing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Welcome to my pawn shop. Is that a talking skeleton? Rude! You act like I'm not even here. Sorry. How do you talk without lips? Unimportant! How can I help you? Might I interest you girls in a stuffed monkey? Ew, no! How about an unstuffed monkey? We need something gold. Well, I'm all out of golden monkeys. What about that golden cat? Oh, that? A treasure indeed, from lands far away. How much, Boney? One million dollars! You're joking. I would never joke about such a precious item. Can we get a discount? Well, I can take five dollars off, but just so you know, that's pretty much break even for me. What about that cat? The other gold one? Oh, that? Ten dollars. It looks exactly like the million dollar one. Yeah, but it's not real gold! Sold. <laughs> Let me bag that up for you. <laughs> Nobody beats my prices. Yes! Excellent! Incredible! <laughs> Nobody beats my prices. <laughs> Why selection? Let's move it, Kyoko. No Joko. Don't ever. 
never say that. <laughs> Something I don't know. Come on, let's get this knockoff cat back to that fashion designer.
Nice entrance. Enjoy your gold cat or whatever. Hmm. It's a little banged up. It's also not real. Heavy! It's not real heavy. Except it is, because it's gold. Right, Kyoko? Oh! Ah, uh, that is correct. The offering is acceptable. What would you like designed? Can you do mini skirts? Actually, we need information. I don't do information. I do fashion. And you're wasting my time. Our boyfriends got kidnapped. The guy in this photo is wearing one of your jackets. So? Find me someone in River City not wearing my fashion. We aren't. Ugh, I can see that. Enough insults! We got your dumb cat. Now float down here and help us. I'm sick of this crappy cosplay spider stick. You look ridiculous. <laughs> She's just a little grumpy. Now, about that mini skirt. I have never in my life been spoken to as you just addressed me. You come into my den looking like high school hobos and lecture me on fashion? I like fashion. Fashion is fun. No, fashion is life. Just not for you two.
Entrance. Enjoy. Hi, Yeah. 
nice entrance. Entrance. Enjoy your gold.
you look and you can fly can you teach us how to do that no we need information and a mini skirt but I can come back for that I don't know the man in your photo but if your boyfriends were indeed kidnapped you should head downtown to the slums you you're trying to say we belong in a dump Probably, but if anyone goes missing nine times out of ten, they're taken downtown. There's a secret tunnel behind my factory that will lead you straight there. Why do you have that? Be gone, fashion disasters! You sleep at night 
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Devastating! dojo and fight me!
So this is downtown. More like frown town. I am so unhappy right now. We better start looking for Kunio and Ricky.
Hello. Please look around. Of course. Hello. Please look around. Oh, goodbye then. Oh.
Kid. That's right, it's me, Naritaka. What you doing here, kid? Yeah, this is not a nice part of town. Exactly. I came here to train myself and get tough like my hero, Ricky. My Ricky? The very same. You look pretty beat up. All part of the routine. You get any hits in yourself? In due time. Now, what brings you beautiful ladies down here? Are you training as well? No, we're pretty good at fighting. I could take your head off with my elbow. That would be a sight. Can you teach me? No. Ricky and Kunio have been kidnapped. Zounds! And some hideous fashionista said they might be here. Double Zounds! You haven't seen Kunio or Ricky, have you? I have not, but I did hear rumors about some big bad who lives in the abandoned subway terminals. They say he steals children in TV sets. Maybe he took my boyfriend, Ricky. You mean my boyfriend, Ricky. That's what I said. Okay, kid. Well, keep it up. I'm sure you'll punch someone back eventually. I won't stop until I do. He's gonna die here, Misako. Probably.
Shop welcomes your money. My shop welcomes your money. Is this the subway terminal? It's blocked by trash. Why is trash everywhere? Come on, let's find another way in. My hair smells like a used diaper. You come all the way out here to see me? You smell like fast food wrappers. You noticed. Hey, that crane you got there work? Yeah, huh? Shall we take it for a test drive? Ew, no, yuck. We need some trash moved. Then I'm your guy. Great, come on. Oh, you mean now? <laughs> no can do. See, uh, I dropped the keys in a trash compactor. So go get him. The uh, thing is, it's filled with zombies. And? Thing is, I hate zombies. Like, a lot. Me too. So... So you want us to go get your keys for you, then you'll use your crane to move the trash so we can get inside the subway? Sounds like a plan, dude. Fine. Let's go, Kyoko. W wait, don't you want to know my name? Nope. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with Benji. Totally don't care. So we're going to climb inside a trash compactor. 
seems that way. And fight smelly zombies surrounded by smelly trash. Yep. This day get any more gross. It's still early. Ew! I can't believe we're fighting zombies in a trash compactor! Wanna give up? For my Ricky? Never! your dumb keys. They are smelly, and now we are too! Sweet, thanks! But, uh, these aren't my keys. What? But we got them from trash zombies! Nah, my keys are blue and have a keychain that says WICKED! But no biggie, turns out they were in my pocket the whole time. What? Funny, right? I got zombie brains in my mouth! On purpose? Can you move our trash with your crane now? Oh, totally! Uh, but, but first, you gotta guess my name. No. Fine, whatevs. I didn't want to tell you anyway. Welcomes your money. Nice. Enter, please. Enjoy my wares. Come on. Let's find out if Kunio and Ricky are down here. Or I can head back outside and uh, watch our backs. Don't be a wuss, Kyoko. Come on. supposed to be girls high schoolers I'm sorry I don't understand the question a pair of scrawny bugs sneaking into my web what you want bugs we're looking for our boyfriends 
I can help you with that. My name's Bobo, and I am uh, currently single. Ew, no, we already have boyfriends. Not you. Definitely not you. Fine then. Better crawl back out of here, bugs, before I stomp on you both. Did you kidnap our boyfriends? I don't know. I kidnapped lots of people. Why? My parents didn't love me enough as a baby. Wow, that's strangely honest. It's so sad. Masako, I'm gonna cry. Well, either you took them or you didn't. Now answer me before I slam your thick skull through these walls. <laughs> you got a mouth on you, sweetie. Got a couple of fists, too. Yeah. Let's see how well you can work them. Okay, let's do this!
So good. Okay, okay, I know when I'm beat. You girls are tougher than you look. Nah, we're just tougher than you look. What about the boys in this photo? Mm. Sorry, but I ain't seen them. But you kidnapped like everyone. So then maybe they weren't kidnapped. But then, where are they? Who knows? Jeez, you two really did a number on me. To know how I can pull tonight's shift in this condition. Shift? I was supposed to run security at the noise concert tonight. I thought you kidnapped people for money. Yeah, but it don't pay what it used to. Who's noise? You don't know noise? Everyone listens to her music. I got all her albums, even the rare import stuff. Music hurts my ears. She's performing in Ocean Heights. Go check it out. Practically every boy in River City goes missing when noise is in town. Kunio's not like that. Ricky would never. Whatever you say. <laughs>
Is that Masako and Kyoko? I thought it was you. How you two been? I need your help again. Some folks from the fancy part of town keep parking their expensive cars here in downtown. But that makes the local residents feel like garbage. You can relate, right? Go find four fancy cars that don't belong here and destroy them! I'll make it worth your while.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Devastating! What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Killer! Devastating! Oh, <laughs> 
Cool.